Okay, Shalom everybody. Today we'll talk about the differences between Ashkenaz, Spard, and Sephardi for the blessing after the Shema. And um, so the first part, Emet Vyatsiv and Achon Mekayam, there's absolutely no difference. It's one of the earlier uh, writings, and I even read a story that it was during the time of Ezra that when um, when the people refused to make Aliyah from the other places other than Babylon. Uh, he told them that uh, that was going to be a takana to say a hundred blessings a day to feel connected to Hashem. And so uh, each one of those words, Emet V'yatziv, starts with a vav. So that's 15 times six, uh, the numerical value of vav. That's 90 plus uh, the two hays, uh, Hadavar, uh, Agadol, etc. Um, that will be adding to a hundred. Uh, but the second paragraph, there's slight differences. The main difference between Ashkenaz and Sephardi and Sephardi together. So Ashkenaz uh, ends with Yetzernu Tzu uh, our former and our rock uh, of our redemption. Podenu uh, Matzilenu, the one who saved us, and Meolam uh, Shemecha, is your name, meaning that we can call your name saying that you are our true Redeemer. And Elohim Zotecha. So repeating that there's no other God besides you. Um, so that's a very basic declaration that we could say every day, even a few times a day, in order to make sure that we know for sure that this is the God that we're praying to. But um, Sephardi and Sephardi uh, add En Lanu Od Elohim Zotecha Sela. So the word Sela, there's a lot of arguments about what the source for it. There is a suggestion that it's just Sela instead of with an Ayn, which would mean rock, that it's a hay, meaning the, the, the sturdiness of it, the, the, the power of it. Um, but I like better the explanation that it's a replacement for um, forever. So, um, which means that we're never going to have another God besides you. Um, another third option is somewhere in between, which is Sela is just a confirmation of what we're saying. So Amen Sela is a man with confirmation that I truly believe in what you just said. Uh, because there are a few verses in Tehillim where David talks about his enemies and Sela would not be appropriate because uh, he doesn't want them to last forever. So, so that's why we have to consider that. So the Sephard and Sephardi uh, add that idea of En Lanu Od Elohim Zotech Asela, um, which is pretty simple. Um, so we will go now into Gal uh, Ezrat Israel. So uh, Ezrat Avotenu. So the the shortest is the Ashkenazi version. Ashkenaz. Um, the the main two differences are that if you count here Ezrat Avotenu Tal Moalam Shrei Ish Ish Mar Zotecha. Emet, number one, and Mimitzrayim Gertanu, which could also be Emet, uh, but Emet Atahu Rishon. So according to the Ashkenazi uh, version of, of this blessing, there's only two Emet, or two sentences that start with that word. Um, and then there's a, a few minor differences, but first let's see the Sephard and Sephardi. So um, for Sephard we have Emet Ashrei Sheishman Tzotecha, which the Ashkenaz didn't have. Emet Atau Adon Lamecha. Emet Atau Rishon Atau Achron. Emet Mitzrayim Gertanu. So that's four, okay. And mm -hmm. also the Sephardi um, has the same four that uh, Sephard does. Emet Ashrei Sh. Emet Atau Adon. Emet Atau Rishon. Emet Mitzrayim Gertanu. So those four. Now the what what are we confirming with these um, statements? We are confirming that Hashem took us out of Egypt and drowned uh, the Egyptians. And just like uh, you were Me'olam forever, uh, the helper of our forefathers, we're basically asking you to continue and answer our requests for redemption. And that's why it ends with Gal Yisrael. Um, so... So there's a very interesting uh, question about the order of what happened. Kol uh, Maragta, okay, he killed all the firstborn, and that is that is correct. Uvechor uh, Chagalta, and you saved the firstborn of the of the Hebrews. I don't know what just happened. 
וים סוף בקעתה, and then you split the Red Sea, וזה דים טיבטה וידידי מעברת. So זה דים טיבטה is the oppressors uh, or the, the, the evil ones, you drowned and then you um, moved through the water or passed through the water, uh, through the, well, dry water, uh, ידידים, the, your friends, which is the people of Israel. So the Mepharshim, the commentators ask, isn't it exactly the opposite? First, the Jewish people passed through, and then the Hashem covered, told Moses to cover the water over the, uh, the Egyptians and to kill them, so, or, or drown them. So why is it written in this order? So the explanation that Reb Bar explained is that the whole purpose, and we don't realize this because we celebrate the redemption, but the whole purpose of the splitting of the sea was not to let the Jewish people go through. Uh, they could have gone in a different way. The, the, the Suez Canal did not exist at that time. Uh, so they could have gone on dry land uh, straight into the Sinai Peninsula. Uh, but Hashem split the sea in order to drown the Egyptians, in order to yeah. fool them to think that just like the Hebrews could pass through, they could also pass through. And so that's his explanation for the changing of the order here, that it's first that there's a Dim Tibata and then afterwards... ידידים העברת, אחד מהם לא נותר, is based on a verse in, um, in Tehillim, in, in the description of the, of the splitting of the sea, um, and the rabbis actually do have an opinion that אחד, uh, meaning the Pharaoh, did remain, uh, in order for him to be able to tell everybody what he saw at the sea. Um, and, and there's a lot of people who have a problem with that, but I don't. I'm... I'm very okay with with Echad Mehem is, is one that stayed. Uh, so for this, Al-Zot Shibchu Ha'ovim V'Ramu El. So for this, the, our, the, the beloved, a different word for Yedidim, um, gave praise to Hashem and, and sang, Shirot Tishbachot, Barchot V'Odot Melech V'Chai V'Kayam. So this is where there's an, another slight difference. Ram ben Isa Gadol ben Ram Ashpil Gayim Omegdei Shfalim. This is apparently based on a verse, uh, two verses, one in Isaiah fifty-seven fifteen, and one in um, Samuel. So in in Hannah's prayer. So Ko Amar Hashem Ko Amar Ram ben Isa. So that's why he's called Ram elevated. Shochen Ad veKadosh Shmo reminds us of the Shochen Ad in in Shabbos morning. Maron veKadosh Eshkon veDakau Shfal Ruach LaChayot. Ruach Shfalim with Achayot Lev Nidkaim to uh, lift up the spirit of those who are uh, lowly and contrite. And the second verse, Hashem Morishu Mashir Mashpil Af Muramen, that Hashem makes people uh, poor and, and rich, but he also uh, casts down and lifts up. Um, so the Ashkenaz, without, again, without maybe the emotion, uh, it just says, that's hard. It just says that he's mashpil ge'im o magbeh shfalim. He lowers those who are haughty or arrogant and magbeh shfalim and lifts up those who are lowly. Um, the Sephardim and the Sephard have uh, additional words there uh, where we say mashpil ge'im ade aretz, he lowers them all the way to the ground. Magbeh shfalim ade marom, all the way, they, he lifts up those who are lowly all the way to the heavens. Um, and uh, and we end with because it says that they did call to Hashem uh, when they were at the Red Sea um, when we say in Slichot uh, coming up in a few weeks uh, he who answered Moses and Aaron and then there's a specific one Mishana Avotenu Biyam Suf he who answered our forefathers at the Red Sea, because it does say that they called out to Hashem, and Hashem said to Moses, please tell them to stop yelling and to stop calling me, because I am going to make a miracle. And so Hashem did answer them, and uh, and that's why we say the, the, these praises. Um, the Sephardi, again, the same idea, Mashpil Gei Madar, Samagbi and Hanelam Oisrael Ba'at Shavam Elav. 
So even though most of this uh, um, blessing was written in the in the present tense, uh, the very end is Gaal Israel in the past tense because we are now going into Tefillah, which is going to be our requests for our present day. But uh, and then that way we differentiate between Gaal Israel just before Shmon Esra and Goel Israel as part of Shmon Esra. So we'll stop mm. here. Well.